Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Dunkley and today I'm going to be showing off this workflow catalog script that I wrote in Python. So here's the script. Um, the purpose of this script is to help organize a library of assets that I have and I used this script quite extensively on a recent project which has uh, which had pretty big environments uh, with lots of trees and plants and I had to have a way to organize everything so I could quickly uh, add in just the um, the items that I would need for a specific shot. So um, with everything prepped and ready to go like this, it's very easy to just click a button and Maya will automatically load in and reference the tree that you, uh, or whatever it is that you picked. Uh, and then it grays it out to prevent double referencing. Um, so here's the tree, uh, all good to go. Um, there's a locator. It's a, so it's easy to select and to manipulate. So I'll grab in another tree, just a few more. Let's go with maybe a Malice or uh, you can see the file size, you'll know if they're, they're very big assets. So if you're making a decision about what you uh, want, if you'll get an idea, okay, that's a heavy tree. Um, probably won't want something like that in most cases. Uh, so there you go, there's another tree. Let's go with more, let's go with another Malice. Um, So there you go, we have a few trees. Uh, I'll show you some more assets. Uh, so for example, something that I purchased from uh, say Turbo Squid or 3D Ocean. Uh, uh, let's try, uh, let's see, uh, maybe this fern on from Turbo Squid. Uh, maybe some leaves. Or maybe even a lotus. So if I go in here, I'll see all of those things. Uh, the leaves are in there somewhere. Uh, there they are, all the way in there, hang on. So there are the leaves. Great for uh, just instancing around um, and scattering randomly. Uh, and then we have our uh, fern. There's two of them, I think, that came together. A smaller one as well. Um, but you can see that it can be very easy to populate an environment with a system like this. Um, you just pick what you want and you'll get it. Uh, Muffins is there for a, a test I was doing before. Uh, so if I just get rid of that, hit update and rescan, and you'll notice that uh, I can still interact with Maya while it's scanning. And yeah, there you go, Muffins is gone. <laughs> the point of uh, the keywords here is that you can choose a, it's basically it'll create a tab uh, based on the words it finds within the folder structure or the file name. So you can group everything together and so you've got all your trees in one tab, all your plants in another, all your rocks and logs in another tab. Uh, and then, you know, if you need a certain thing, you just go straight there and you'll see it. So here is this log. Um, again, also ready to go with random man. Uh, I also have a file browser which uh, allows me to uh, pick how I want to bring in an asset uh, and I it starts in my uh, directory that's provided uh, up here. So I provide a path there and both of these will look in that location and I can use this over the Maya one because generally it's a lot faster and more efficient for me. Um, yeah. So uh, here are some of the options here. You can choose the namespace in which your asset is brought in. So my, my default is just the file name. Uh, ref is, just merges everything into a namespace called ref. Uh, I just go with the my default uh, most cases. Recursive depth. If you're having trouble because your, your folder structure is too large, there's too many files within too many folders, you can limit this down to a lower number to help speed up and make your search more efficient. Uh, I've already explained asset keywords. Secondary keywords are just, uh, I use those for defining the, the words here uh, for the sources. And then directory filters are the filters, uh, sorry, are the directories you want to ignore uh, when searching. So again, if your search is taking too long and there's some folders that you may not want it to look into, uh, then you just add them here with a comma. Uh, and so a system like that is very easy to, once you've got it set up, it's very easy to add more items. So if I just go into into say my 3D library, props, purchase props, trees. So it, picked, it found the word trees, that's how it knew where to go. Uh, sorry, where to add the files into. Uh, and then let's go with one of these. Uh, so we have 
uh, the TIFF file, this is what it looks for, and then it looks for a matching MB file with the same name, minus the underscore 256, which is the resolution of the render. So, so that's the, the thumbnail, which I have a template, which is in here, and I just, I put everything in there, I render it all out from the same camera pretty much, and the same lighting setup, and it's all consistent uh, with each other, so I know what I'm gonna get when I when I bring that asset in for render. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all you need to do to set up a prop for the system, is to basically just have uh, a, a rendered thumbnail and then a matching MB file, and then it, it'll just add it in uh, from there. Um, the next thing I'll show is my HDR browser. So you can choose um, to add a HDR in as either an environment light, which is the V-Ray uh, V-Ray equivalent of a dome light. So I could do that, and then I've got a environment light pretty much instantly, uh, and that has the file linked into it correctly. Or you can go with uh, a texture dome, so kind of similar to V-Red. Uh, but this is more for uh, visualization purposes as opposed to uh, render. Uh, you don't really want to render something like this around your um, environment or anything like that. That's something you would want to composite in um, as a backplate. And you, know, you get texture stretching and low resolution, like ground. And it's not. It's just for pre-visualization, uh, just to get an idea of your environment. But it's it's nice and handy. Um, I also have a card browser, so you know, just tree cards and things like that. So if I just hide everything that's here, I could bring in a bunch of random tree cards. Um, this is handy if you want to basically, you know, there you go. This is handy if you want to uh, populate the background of your environment with um, just cards to make it more alive, but not being too heavy. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's my workflow uh, system script, which, or oh, my asset browser script. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching.